I'm Kina. This month, Stumbox is exploring blood. This experiment will explore the magical world of blood splatters. Blood splatters are an extra useful tool to forensic crime investigators who are looking into a murder or a crime. So if you're interested in murder mysteries or investigating and finding answers to clues, this is the experiment for you. If you haven't watched our last video on how to make fake blood, you should watch that one before you do this experiment on splatters. You gonna watch it? All right, cool, watch it and we'll get to splatters. All right, let's go. So this experiment is a great foray into forensic sciences, which is personally something that got me very interested in science at a very young age. My parents let me watch CSI way too early. For this experiment, you're going to want your pipette, you're going to need a syringe, a marker or a pen, and a tape measure to measure the distances that you'll be dropping from. And lastly, we recommend that you put down some butcher paper or some paper to test on and to take your results away with. All right, let's splatter. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna designate one quadrant of this paper to our one foot height. We're gonna go ahead and measure out one foot with our tape measure. We're gonna hold it here. We're gonna take a few millimeters of blood and we're gonna drop from this height. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, that was a double. You're gonna let these dry for a little bit and we're gonna move on to our next height. So for time's sake, we're gonna move to the five foot range. And we're gonna do the same thing. Take some blood. One, terrible aim, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's a lot. We're gonna see how the blood splatters look after they dry like that. I would also recommend that if you're interested after they dry, what you're gonna do is measure the diameter of each of these blood stains in millimeters. So this one is about 20 millimeters and you can go through and average all of these. So I've gone ahead and I've measured the diameter of several of my best samples from my splatters and I've gone ahead and averaged all of those together. So the average for one foot for us came to about 16 millimeters. The average for a five foot drop came to about 24. We've tested splatters from a straight drop of varying heights, but there are other variables you can test as well. Some of my favorite include the velocity of the splatter and the angle of the splatter. So we're gonna start with velocity. And you should pour it in a cup for this part so you don't hurt yourself on the blade. So I'm gonna measure about three mils of blood and I'm gonna get about the same height, which is about a foot. I'm gonna go to test what a high velocity blood splatter would look like. And as you can tell, it's so different from a still drop. Everything splatters and it goes everywhere. We're gonna have a lot of cleanup later. The other kind of test that I would love to do is to test an angled drip. So we're gonna hold this up and we're gonna test a drip from an angle. So we'll start small, high, and you can test what it looks like when blood hits at an angle. If you have a partner, you can test both of these things at the same time by having your partner hold up your board or your paper and splattering with your syringe. So as you're testing all of this, remember that every good scientist always records their data. So you have a data sheet at home and we wanna see what measurements you get for the varying diameters of these splatters and the varying heights that you've chosen. So we can't wait to see your results. Get back to us, let us know what you found and which blood splatter was your favorite. Personally, I'm a big fan of the high velocity splatter. Thank you so much for watching this experiment on blood splatters. If you guys wanna do our next experiment, you should catch it here. We're gonna be making blood worms. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel here, and you can find our website here. All right, we'll see you guys at the next video. Let's make some more blood mess. Let's check it out. Oh, it's so good. It's kind of warm. It's kind of creepily warm. Holy cow. Mm. <laughs> oh, that is really gross.